Hi everyone, so Jeet here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to learn how to squat. Now, squat is a compound lift and it can be regarded as the king of all exercises. But if done incorrectly, it can break your back as well. And that's the reason that a lot of people do complain about their lower back pain after doing squats. And usually it's not the exercise, but the way they're doing it, the posture, the technique. So in this video, I'll try to cover all the common mistakes. And hopefully after watching this, you will be able to improve your squat without any back pain. So let's get started. Now I've divided this video into three parts. The first one is lifting the weight. Now, even before trying to lift the weight, make sure that you have got equal amount of weight on both sides. See, as silly as it sounds, but it can be done very easily. And even before doing a repetition, you can get hurt. So it's worth a look. Now, once that's checked, get under the bar, place your feet firmly on the floor, activate your core, and then lift the weight by pushing your hips forward. Now, some people do lift the weight in a split stance position, which can be a little bit intimidating. As you can see, that front leg is bearing most of the weight. Now, it's a matter of personal preference, but if you have got your both feet planted firmly on the floor, you will feel more confident and it will be much safer. Now, part two is bracing yourself and lowering face. Once you have lifted the weight, take a few steps back and make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart with your toes pointing slightly outward roughly at around 30 degree angle. Now from here, grip the bar firmly with your elbows pointing backward. From here, fill your diaphragm with a deep breath, activate your core, keep your head straight and prepare for lowering. Now start by pushing your hips back and bending your knees at the same time while keeping a nice straight back. Now while lowering phase, make sure that you're trying to push your knees outward and they are traveling right on top of your feet. Now this is a very critical phase guys and you need to pay more attention during lowering phase because a lot of mistakes do happen here. For example, some people lean forward instead of going down and that gives them an impression they are doing their squat right but all they're doing is hip hinging. See, initially it will not be a problem especially if you're just starting out but as you will start putting on more weight you can clearly see that this will cause some serious issues in your back. So make sure that you're lowering your hips rather than hinging from your hips. Now the second common mistake is having too narrow stance and what that does is instead of pushing your knees outward, it pushes your knees forward and soon you will find yourself on your toes. And clearly we don't want that while squatting. So guys make sure that under no circumstances your knees travel beyond your toes. Now if you're having any of these issues during lowering phase, it can be because of your ankle mobility. Because when we talk about squats, people usually relate it to strength. But they forget that if you don't have enough ankle mobility, it will seriously affect your squatting. So it will be a good idea to work on your ankle mobility. And in the meantime, what you can do is place few weight plates under your heels that will raise them, compensating for your ankle mobility, giving you nice and deeper squats. Now, the last part is performing the actual lift and make sure that you are generating the force with your feet and think of as if you are trying to push the ground away from you. Never ever try to lift your heels or push through your toes because that is the recipe for disaster. So make sure that your both feet are planted firmly on the floor because that will give you much more confidence and you will lift through heavy weights. Now, I have seen some videos where people do suggest breathing during the lift, which is not right in my opinion, because if you need to lift heavy, you need to have strong core, you need to fill your diaphragm with air, keep it tight, and when you have performed the lift, then you have to release, breathe it again, and then repeat the whole process. Now, if you pay close attention to these three steps, you will never have any issues with your squat, and you will be lifting heavy weights in no time. Now, I want to finish off this video by giving you guys two more tips. The first one is choosing right shoes for your squatting. Now, you don't have to buy professional weightlifting shoes, though if you are serious about your weightlifting, you should spend on that, it's worth the money. But if you don't want to go that route, make sure that you are wearing some shoes with minimum cushioning between your feet and floor because that will give you much more confidence. And even if that's not possible, please take off your shoes and do barefoot squats. You can trust me on this, I do lift heavy and I do love barefoot squats. That's a different thing that I'm soon investing on weightlifting shoes as well. But you don't have to do that. Barefoot is absolutely fine. And the second bonus tip is working on your ankle mobility. 
you have to trust me on this that if you start working on your ankle mobility you will see some day and night difference between your squat majority of the people do focus on just pushing the weight and they do forget that you know if you don't have enough ankle mobility it will always affect your squatting so spending some good time on ankle mobility will definitely help you so that's all for today guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and do learn something today do let me know in the comment section what you think and how you're going with your squats thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then stay fit and stay young